Let the record reflect that the defendant is present along with counsel for the defendant, assistant state attorney, Mr. Bayer. I would just like to clarify for the record and make a brief motion for the record, if I may. Yes, sir. Um, our previous objection that we had laid out was a 403 issue as it relates to the jail visitation videos. Um, we had previously filed a motion. Uh, the agents of the state motion included a 403 provision. Uh, prior to them being published, we again uh, raised our objections yesterday as to relevance in 403. Uh, again, I, we are renewing that and would ask for a mistrial based on the statements that, that were published during the jail visitation video, specifically that of uh, irrelevant communications in reference to the defendant's counsel and her counsel and her Sixth Amendment counsel of choice in which uh, negative statements are made, including statements that her counsel may obstruct justice, uh, may withhold evidence and destroy evidence that would, that would clearly um, diminish the credibility of, defen of defense counsel before this jury after hearing such uh, statements being made. Uh, I think it is incumbent upon the prosecutor when presenting uh, evidence that it must be relevant evidence and also take into consideration the uh, rules of, of evidence when deciding to introduce something. Other than filing motions, renewing objections, uh, that is as much as we certainly can do in situations like this. There are future videos that include many of these same types of allegations against uh, against uh, the defendant's counsel of choice in this case. And um, there are also misstatements of law and fact as it relates and surrounding uh, the representation of Miss Anthony and other uh, legal uh, commentary by the visitors of Miss Anthony in these um, jail visitations. Now, I, I understand that uh, part of what the state of Florida is doing is introducing these because there is misstatements of fact within, the, within them. However, I, I think they should be relevant. I think they should not be overly, they should not be prejudicial uh, to the point where you have uh, statements that may confuse the jury as to what the law might be uh, and also confuse the jury as to issues relating to the defendant's counsel. And based on those facts, Judge, we would uh, simply move for a mistrial on those facts. Reply from the state of Florida. Your Honor, it's my understanding that the rules of procedure require pleadings to be specific in nature. The motion as it relates to these tapes went exclusively to the agency issue between the Anthony family and law enforcement. I hear Mr. Baez raising a 403 probative versus prejudice issue today. In his motion, he did not state with any degree of specificity which portions of any of the tapes he felt were more prejudicial than probative of any fact in the case. Um, as such, his motion is untimely. These issues were not raised before the court before, and uh, we would urge that the that they're already admitted as well, um, but we would urge the court to deny the motion for mistrial at this time. Uh, let me ask a couple of questions, and either side is free uh, to answer, starting with the state and followed by the defense. Deadlines uh, to address evidentiary issues, if memory serves me correctly, was, uh, I believe, December 31st, 2010, by the second amended order of case management. My recollection is no require any testimony. Yes, that is accurate. And uh, you, you broached the, the subject, but in the motions that were filed by the defense, were there ever any motions filed to redact portions of these uh, video uh, 
recordings that are being published. Not only were there no motions, there was no inquiry of me or any other member of the prosecution team about redacting any portions to see if we could agree to anything of that nature. Okay. The defense has any comments on the two questions that the court just posed as to one, dealing with the deadline, and two, dealing with a specific motion uh, to redact portions of uh, the video recordings of the visitations. I would agree with the uh, state attorney's uh, representations to the court amongst the hundreds of motions filed by the defense. In this case, we did not include one in there. However, I still think it's our duty and our obligation to raise objections when we deem appropriate. I did that prior to this being published. I did it in the middle of it being published, and I'm doing it again. I, I feel that this is a highly prejudicial uh, issue, as well as the ones that are forthcoming. So I, I am raising them. If, um, if the defense chose a, a, a higher priority for other items, that, that falls on me, and I accept responsibility for that. But I still, I'm coming across an issue, Judge, and I have to bring it to your attention. I don't fault you for bringing it to my attention. Uh, one last question. Uh, these videos, when were they disclosed and provided to the defense in discovery? Do you know the approximate date? Back in 2008. Uh, okay. I would probably say around September of 2008, all of them except two of them. One again in January of 2009, January, February, and then uh, one we did have a mix up that was disclosed about some approximately three weeks ago. And um, my position remains the same. I don't have the exact date. I'm sure I could pull out the notice of supplemental discovery if. Uh, but it was sometime during the year 2008. Yes, except for the last one, which is the August 14th video, which will come at the end of the presentation. I believe that was held for a period of time and then disclosed in 2009. The mix-up that he refers to has to do with him getting a duplicate copy of something and then just bringing that to our attention recently. Time deadlines can sometimes be harsh, but uh, in barring a page from uh, my appellate brethren, for times for filing briefs and other things and notices of appeal. Uh, there must be some uh, finality. Uh, this court uh, gave a date, uh, December 31st, uh, and from January up until uh, April, uh, we had availability for hearings. Uh, the court will deny the motion for mistrial. Uh, we have heard whatever motions this was just raised. It is uh, untimely. Uh, therefore, the renewed motions will be uh, denied. All right, let's return to jury. Instruction as it relates to those specific issues that the court Things. If you fashion a curative instruction, I will gladly give one or give me a suggestion as to what you would like in it, then I will fashion one. Uh, but I will be happy uh, to consider one uh, and give one if proper. Okay, let's return to jury. We have to start at 11 minutes and 30 seconds so that we don't have 12 minutes of dead air. Any objections to that procedure from the defense? Mr. Byer. I was speaking to my client and I did not hear. Ms. Uh, Burdick, repeat it again. The, the exchange between the participants in the next video begins at 11 minutes and 30 seconds. So rather than having almost 12 minutes of dead air. No objection. Okay. Other than our previously raised motions and objections. Okay. All right. 
uh, let's uh, return to jury. Okay, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, did you heed my previous admonitions? Okay, the state may proceed. Permission to publish 68 in evidence. Okay, is 68 uh, the visitation of George and Cindy Anthony? On July 25th, and there are two in sequence. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let me read you the following stipulation. George and Cindy Anthony attended a video recorded visitation with Casey Anthony at the Orange County Jail on July 25th, 2008 at 1300 hours. The video recording is a true and accurate representation of the visitation. The parties have agreed to this fact and it should be considered as true in its deliberations. The second stipulation is as follows. George and Cindy Anthony attended a video recorded visitation with Casey Anthony at the Orange County Jail on July 25th, 2008 at 1400 hours. The video recording is a true and accurate representation of the visitation. The parties have agreed to this fact and it should be considered as true in your deliberations. You may proceed to publish the exhibit. Thank you. We've been we've been watching you for so long. You haven't? I love you. I love you too. Hi. <laughs> we've been seeing you sitting down. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was talking with one of the doctors. We we forgive anything that you've said. Oh, or I, done. Hold, hold on. Can we turn the volume down? Yeah, can, you can probably hear it. My head's gonna explode. <laughs> I haven't said anything. Don't worry. It is kind of loud. Um, yeah. Okay. How's that? Is that better? Casey? Yeah. Can you hear me? Sure. Just, just a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's good, honey. Yeah, that's perfect. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. I just talked to Lee. I know. He told us. Yeah, we got cut off within our last minute, but... We at least got a chance to cover a lot of stuff in our hour, so. That's good. Um, what's that t-shirt? I didn't get a chance to ask him, you know, other things Kaylee's besides. Kaylee's picture's on the back. Is it? Can Dad yes. show me the shirt? Yeah, turn around so you can see. It's the hope, Never Lose Hope Foundation. Do you see it? I can see, see part picture? of it, yeah. Have you seen me? And then it has the information on how to contact. Okay. Casey, you don't realize... The whole United States is looking for our Kaylee. I know that, Mom. Her cover is going to be on People Magazine in a few days. Okay. Everybody is looking for her. Oh, good. Everybody is looking for her. Are we going to be able to find her, do you think? I hope we can, Mom. Now, I didn't get a chance to ask Lee. Um, can you look up a little bit more? Raise your eyes up a little bit. There you I go. So actually now, look straight up so I can look into your eyes, darling. Thank you. I need you know I need to do that. It's okay to cry, Casey. It's all right, love. We've all been crying. Casey, I want to ask you just a couple questions. God. I know the pictures with Kaylee in Zanny's apartment. Is Zanny's apartment, Zanny apartment the ones with the drums? She had a drum set, yes. The one in the picture. I think there are even other pictures. I told Lee to look through everything. Okay. Is that Zanny's apartment? Because I know whose apartment it is. Is it Zanny's apartment? That exact apartment? No, that was Ricardo's apartment. It was set up a lot like Zanny's apartment. Okay. Do we have any pictures of Sandy's Mom, apartment? Ali and I already talked about this. Okay. I don't know. It could right. be on, on the desk at home. I don't know. 
What is your, I can't get into your, um, I gave Lee everything already. I all gave right. Lee all of the passwords, everything we could possibly I think of get, all over again. I want to get some video clips off Kaylee because the video clip with grandpa is really helping people. Pic okay. Still pictures don't show No, they don't her show justice. her personality. Right. And we need to show her personality. So I need to make sure we get that password. Yeah. I gave Lee the password. Please look up, sweetheart. I need to see your eyes. I want to be able to look at you guys, too. I can't look at you and look at the camera. Well, you don't have to look at the camera. Look at me. I'm looking at you. Okay. You're sitting very low. <laughs> I know. Your head's about this much in the TV. <laughs> okay. Do you think Sandy's acting by herself, or does she have help? I don't know, Mom. I haven't been able to talk to anybody. I don't know. I'm I'm hoping that if there's people involved, there's as many people that are dumb enough to open their mouths and say something as possible. But mom, I have I have nothing to go off of at the moment. I don't know. Okay. I really I don't know. Jose and I go over this every time we talk and things that Lee told me today I'm extremely aggravated about because I haven't gotten a single letter. Nothing that you've given him has gotten back to me. I've only given him my letter. I don't think I've given him Annie's letter yet. Well, I got two letters that were sent directly to the jail, but okay, nothing no. that's been given to him has well, been given to me. Well, he can't hand anything to you. Did you read anything in my writing? I read the one little note, yes, but Lee said that he's written letters okay. and he's written other stuff. Okay, well, then the one little note that I wrote... He didn't show did me. get it. Okay, that's okay. the only wrote note that I've given. So don't well, lose according total to faith. Lee, I'm not losing faith. I'm just going to have a lot of questions for him when I see him, hopefully, that's later fine. today. You want to have questions for him. I have a lot of questions, and I'm going to ask you something that he told me. I guess okay. there was a lady that came forward on the news. Um, her and her son were at the airport, said that they saw Kaylee, spoke to Kaylee. Right, and she said her name was Kaylee Marie Antney. Uh, do you have any more information on that? Um, yes. But again, the the um, sheriff's department's telling us they're fully investigating that. Well, I want someone outside of the sheriff's department looking into these things. I mean, I want Lee to look into stuff. I want you guys to look into stuff. I want Jose to look into stuff. I don't well, just we're, want... We're, looking, we're trying to request those videotapes from the Orlando airport. Okay. Um, I was with Jose today when he requested that. Okay. Have you spoken to her yourself? Oh, she contacted me. She calls okay. me every day, three or four times a day. Okay, good. Well, that's what I wanted to know. I don't want just one person running errands for me, someone that I have no contact with. And Does even Charlotte sound like a potential place to look? You can look in Charlotte. I know Zanny's had roots in North Carolina. I know and that definitely my Miami. Definitely Miami, and New York. Do you know her? Her is, is her mother's name Zenaida Fernandez Gonzalez as well. No, her mother's Gloria. Is her mother? What age is her mother? Um, she between older? yours and she's between your age and dad's age, so she's About in her fifty-five, 50s. roughly. Yes. Have you ever heard her sister's name? Not Sandy's sister, her mom's sister's name, Sandy's aunt's name. No. Um, is it possible that she could be staying with her um, sister? Sandy's mom could be staying with Sandy's aunt in it's Miami. A possibility. I, I don't know where exactly they are in Miami or who they're staying with, but it's a possibility. Does Josephina sound familiar to you? Josephina. No. no. Okay. Okay. Oh, man. Um, I'm gonna are they going to... Oh, go, go ahead. ahead, honey. No, go well, ahead. Ask. I was just going to ask if they were going to let us have an extra almost 15 minutes since we didn't get... Probably not. We'll have to ask to start over. I don't know if they'll allow us or not. Okay. Oh, are, are sure? they? Okay. That's what he said. Okay. Okay. All right. Do you want to speak to your father now? Sure. <laughs> okay. Hey, gorgeous. How you doing? I look like hell. <laughs> well, 
Well, you know something? You, you really need to keep your spirit high for all this. I have. I haven't been crying while I've been in here. Well, you know something? I've been trying to read books and do other things to keep my mind off of stuff. Well, you know, I want to be able to reach out and hug you and give you the, the you know, the big, the big Papa Joe hug. But, you know, I, 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 we got to get that little girl back any way we can, and we're, and we're doing That's everything we can. my only concern. I gave Lee a statement. I want him to speak to whoever in the media. Give them a statement specifically from me. He's going to give them an exact quote. She's my only concern. Next to Kaylee, it's you guys. That's my only concern. Can I, can I ask you something? Yes. <sighs> Is there any particular city that you took Kaylee to at all? Any particular friend? I haven't. No. It's Honestly, been mostly just just local. It's been local. It's all been local. The last time I was in Jacksonville was in March. I haven't left this city. Well, you know, Sorry, everyone is doing. Going to Cocoa Beach one time back in maybe May. I well, know everyone's looking. I'm yeah, getting we, updates from Jose or from an occasional officer in here will give me just a little bit of the media that they've stomached watching. Well, have you had a chance to read a paper or then see the no. news? I'm staying away from the TVs. They don't even have the TV on in here for news purposes. I haven't seen the paper or anything like that. Okay. Juan wants to talk to you in a second. Oh, God. Listen, I'm in front of the cameras all the time. What message do you want me to give to Zanny and to Kay and to Kaylee? What do you want me to tell Zanny? That she needs to return Kaylee. I what forgive do you think her. her reasons are? Mom, I don't know. Okay. I forgive her. My only concern is that Kaylee comes back to us and she's smiling and she's happy and that she's that she's okay. Okay. What do you want me to tell Kaylee? That mommy loves her very much. And she's the most important thing in this entire world to me. And to be brave. Shh, hold on. Anything else? Uh, just that I love her. I truly, truly love that little girl and miss her so much. God, did I miss you guys. I know, honey, we miss you too. I know Lee's priority list, we went through things, and I know Kaylee's at the top of everybody's priority list. I'm the last on mine right now. I know you are. I know you're the last on your list. I'll sit here you're as long like as me. I have to. I don't I care. Know. Are you protecting Kaylee? Are you protecting me? Are you protecting who? I Lee know you're protecting. Have, Lee and I have made an agreement. I'm going to start writing letters. I'm going to do it today. I'm going to write individual letters to each of you. Send them through the mail, through the jail Casey, mail. I don't Mom. want to wait through the mail, darling. I'm protecting our family, yes. Not from anything that I've done. Someone threatening us. Someone threatening us. Mom, just leave it at that, please. Okay. For right now, just leave it at that. Okay. I trust you. But don't just know that you don't have to protect this family. This family is, is tough. We've been through a lot in the last week and a half. Know. We're pretty darn strong. We almost lost it a few times, but we are stronger now than we've ever been. So don't try to protect Dad or me or Lee. I know. We have to protect Kaylee, so don't that's, protect us. That's we all have to protect about. Kaylee. I know. Well, then there's nothing that there's nothing to protect us for. <sighs> Do you understand that? I understand that one. I have a question for you. Go ahead. 
How come she never got a chance to get the car? Doesn't make sense. Mom. Because this is recorded, and I don't know who's going to see things, and who's going to misconstrue whatever else. Like I said, there's things that I directly need to say to each of you. Okay. I trust that. Lee and I are finding other means to do. So. Okay. Has someone else been our in our house? I don't know, Mom. Possibly. I told you a long time ago she had a key. Um. Oh God, I was going to ask you something, too, and I don't remember. Sorry. No, it's okay. Um. How's the rest of the family? Um, Grandma's not doing very well at all, Casey. She's not. And um, I can't talk to her because it's it's not good when I do talk to her. So she's not doing well at all. So. Everybody sends their love. Everybody loves you. Everybody knows that you've done nothing to Kaylee. Good. You understand that? I know that. I'm just glad everybody else knows that. Well, there's a lot of people out there, though, that doesn't believe that, darling. Oh, I know. But again, I I get that daily here. Okay, well, hold on. It's... Dad wants to talk to you, babe. Oh, go ahead. Casey, what can I do? Just try to keep talking to the media, I guess. Keep things positive. Keep it focused on Kaylee. That needs to be the main focus. Is there anything else that, that you want to say directly to me at all? Just that I wish that none of this would have ever happened. I really wish that none of this would have ever happened. Well, we all feel that way, and... I know we're all just given a lot right now and we have to keep on being strong and knowing that we've got to bring you and we've got to bring Kaylee home and I mean, we know where you're at. I don't want to see you here. I don't want you here. But Yeah, but in some ways I almost feel more protected here than if I were on the outside. Well, I guess there's some truth in that, but you know... Once we get that little girl home, which I hope is today, you know, I, I, you, that stuff with that with you, it's not going to be easy to get through. But at least we'll have you out also, and that's that's as the long focus as we there. have Kaylee home, everything else with me we'll deal with as we can. Lee made a good point. Getting Kaylee home is our priority. Everything else will fall into place after that, and that's the truth. Okay. Well, you got to know that Mom and I worry about you being here. I know, but I'm under protective custody. I'm in my own cell. I'm right across. I mean, I'm literally within four steps from where their little station is in here. So I'm being watched at all times. Okay. When was the last time you talked to Mr. Baez, if I might ask? Wednesday night. Today's Friday. Wednesday. Okay. okay. Have you ever thought about even just reaching out to the guys at the sheriff's department, just talking to them? The few times that I have, Dad, you've seen what's blown up in my face. They've misconstrued things that I said to them, resources that I gave them that they haven't used. So, in all honesty, is as much as I'd like to at the moment, if I'm going to, it won't be an in-person conversation. It won't be an over-the-phone conversation. It will be in writing. So there's no way of them twisting my words or saying that I didn't give them information. Well, do you have access to a phone and stuff every day or, or not? No, there needs to be money put, I guess, in an account for me so I can make calls. There have to be collect calls. Well, you know, you can call us. We'll accept the charge. No, I understand that, but I'm saying I think there still has to be money in an account for me to be able to make any calls from what I've been told. Tell okay, mom so to you, keep breathing. So, so you need some money so you can make outside calls. 
As far as I know, yes, you'll have to ask somebody more information on that. Okay. Well, talk to mom one second. Is there any messages to anybody that you want me to give? Do you want me to tell anything, Tony, tell, anything? Tell Amy that I'm sorry. Okay. Um, tell Ryan I appreciate all of his help. If you could ask him to come, if he gets a chance to come in town, I don't know if he's going to be able to. Um, okay. Okay. I mean, just tell the rest of the what family that I, What the hell is there to say to him? I mean, it took a friend of mine that I haven't seen in at least four years, haven't talked to in maybe longer than that, someone from high school, to come and see me. And he hasn't made any effort, won't talk to Jose. You know, when I sent even a specific note, I mean, I would like to, to reach out to him to talk to him. But at the same time, my concern is you guys. Okay. How about Jesse? He's been real close. Is there anything you want me to tell Jesse? I would like Jesse to stay as far away from you guys as possible. I'm saying that wholeheartedly and as calmly as possible. Okay. I don't know how much I trust him right now, and I even told Lee that Lee's going to investigate a few people for me. I, I, In my gut, I don't know if I can trust him. Okay, well, I've been thinking that all along, but I've told the deputies my feelings. Jose and I had a couple conversations about that. We've talked about that multiple different times, actually. Does he know Zanny? To the best of my knowledge, no, but quite possibly okay has jesse ever watched kaylee in the last month or so while he was off work no okay the last time he watched kaylee was at his parents house when she was a baby so that was 2006 uh, okay you know his dad has been trying to reach out to your dad his mom sent me an email and to tell us that they, as much as the differences that they had with you, they still know that you're a good mom and that, um, you know, they want Kaylee back as well. So I want well, you I, to know that. I appreciate that. I mean, coming from his family, yes, that, that means a lot. As far as Jesse as an individual, is very questionable for me. Okay. Very, very questionable. Things from his parents that I can... Hey, I, have a I guess question. honestly say I appreciate it. Yes. Your Tiffany ring? Mm -hmm. Your little heart ring? Where is it? I don't know. I haven't seen it for a long time. And who gave you that ring again? I forget. Jeff. Okay. Um, we can't find Jeff. Lee actually has more information on stuff like that. He said okay. that he he knows information about him, about Juliet, about other people. Okay. D or Daisy or whatever her name is from Kodak called and said to tell you she loves you and she knows you're okay. She just called me. She'll be coming into town. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. Are we Tom Frank or Tom Manley? Because there's a Tom, Tom Frank and a Tom Manley. I've, <laughs> again, information when I had spoken to people even directly universal. Now, Frank is the one, last email that you got that you should yes. see. Now, why did they put the police report Manley? Mom, I don't know. Okay, well, I'm just wondering. This so is what I'm I... saying. Information specifics that I had given them. Do you think I could get Mike's help? Kozak? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I haven't spoken to Mike in quite a long time. And he knew a lot of these people, didn't he? He might have. I don't know. Okay. All right. Um, have you guys heard from Earl at all? No. Meredith, my first manager. No. 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 I don't know how to get in touch with him either. He had a MySpace. You might be able to find it on my friends list. You know how? Um, I check MySpace. I don't know your MySpace pa password. 
Do you know the email for it? Is it KCL Marie? I'll okay. spell it for you. Yeah. K A Y S E E O M A R E E at C F L dot R R dot com. Password okay. is the same as my Facebook account. It's timer T I M E R five five. Do you know who that, um, on your MySpace friend who, God, what the heck's his name? Marky Mark? Yeah, that's Mark Hawkins. Oh. That's Charlie Brown. That's Mark Hawkins. Okay, well, I, it didn't look like Mark. That's why. Because someone thought that person looked familiar, one of the witnesses. That's Mark. Okay. Okay. He he hasn't seen Kaylee or has anything related Mark's to this on the West Coast. No, right. Mark is one did of those people that I trust. Did you did you stop by and see his mom a week before all this happened? We ran into each other at Target out at Waterford. Do you think she could share anything with me? I don't know what she'd be able to share. We talked just okay. quickly in passing, and it was about Mark. Okay, I just didn't know. I just thought maybe I could ask that, and that might be a yes or no question you could answer to me. There's no. There, I don't think there's anything that anyone okay. would know. Okay. Um, um Silver car, correct? Or color car? Silver Ford Focus, 2008. Four door. The windows aren't tinted. It's very basic. There's a pink floral car seat on the right passenger side in the back seat. That's the car seat that she's had for Kaylee. And that's why Kaylee doesn't... None of her right. stuff's missing from the house because she's got everything. She has everything. She's always had shoes, socks, diapers, clothes, toys. I mean, you name it. Who else did she ever nanny for before besides Jeff that you're aware of? No one that I know of. He's the only person that I knew of. Okay. I know she'd watched her nephews and her niece. Um... Outside of that, I don't know if there was anyone else. Okay. And she definitely watched Annabelle. Definitely watched Annabelle on several occasions. Okay. Oh, where did you take Kaylee to get her hair cut? I never took Kaylee anywhere to get her hair cut. That's why when I heard that, that was complete bullshit. The only time Kaylee's gotten her hair cut has been at the house. When well, I about, did it or when you did it. I know that. Well, we're, who's your beautician? Who's the, the last person? No one colored my hair. I did my hair last. Okay. No so. one has touched my head since the first week of April after my 21st birthday last year. Okay. That was the last person that cut my hair. So I'm just Outside wondering where that me. came from. Yeah, exactly. I'm wondering where that came from. Okay. Is there anything else you need me to know or to check on for you? Um, I already told Lee to check my phone records. Keep checking that. Go back through even um, MySpace stuff. There could be something Is there any on particular MySpace. day for sure that you know we need to track this back to? As far as what, Mom? What specifically? Look. The last day you saw Kaylee. The 16th. No, I thought Tara said her and Kaylee spoke on the phone on the, that week. Tara? Tara from Michigan. You mean I Mark's mean, psycho ex-wife, Tara? Yes. She has not even spoken to me since probably the end of May, at least. And there goes the TV. Lovely. Five minutes. Our session will end in five minutes. Casey? Five minutes, I know. I have not spoken with Tara in well over two months. 
Okay, she said that she had a 13-minute conversation. No, 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 not 13. That was someone else. That she had over an hour conversation with you. She was having issues. Yes, exactly. Like two months ago. I haven't talked to her since then. Well, she you said can it was check, just a few weeks ago. You can check the number on no, no, my no. call record. Don't get upset. I'm just no, saying. No, I'm, I'm just telling you. She's saying that I, I know what she spoke saying. to each other. Okay. The babies never spoke to each other. I never even put Kaylee on the phone. Don't well, listen. Mom, no, Casey, I'm not getting mad not, at you. I know. I know you're not. Listen. People like Tara, people like Jesse, who are maybe trying to help, even Christina, God bless her, don't know what the hell they're talking about. They may have talked to me within the last few months or have seen me within the last, oh, I don't know, year, and will say, oh, yeah, this was during this such and such time because they're trying to help. I know. Well, mom, this is why stuff's getting misconstrued. Words are getting put in my mouth. You have I my phone records. I just wanted to confirm that. I wanted no, to I have not that. spoken with Tara. You can look okay. up her number. I believe Whatever you. the Michigan thing is, whatever. Okay, now we only have five minutes. What else do you want me to check on? I thought they were giving us extra time. I don't know. That's only five minutes in this session. Oh, I know, and it'll cut off when we have one minute left. And then we'll get our last minute. Um... I'm fine. Okay. I want you guys to know that I'm eating to the best of my ability. I miss real food. I miss. I know. I haven't cooked in any of this. If people be bringing food to the house, if I list names, is there anybody that I could may have an insight? Lee and I already went over this. He okay. had a whole list of people that. Okay whether or not he should even bother talking to them, people okay. he should look into. Were you ever intending on going to Puerto Rico? Yeah, at the beginning of the year. And we talked about stuff progressively throughout the last few months. Who made the reservations? There was never a reservation made for me. I was going to make my own reservation. Everyone right, was buying Who made tickets. everybody's? Who made Everyone everybody's? Was, nobody was making reservations. We were all going to be buying our tickets as we could or as we wanted to. And we're going to be staying at JP's family's apartment or his apartment down there. Okay. I, okay. I thought it was, um, no, okay. there was nothing that was pre-scheduled months in advance. We were all waiting to buy tickets. If we were going to buy tickets, things of that nature. Yeah. Cause Amy's flight number was written on a piece of paper in your handwriting. Yeah, I know because I was picking her up. Okay. I needed to know her flight information for when I was going to get her from the airport. That makes sense. Yeah. And just like the menus that you found at the house, the breakfast, lunch, and dinner, that was my list. That was my stuff. I wanted to start waking up at 5 a.m. working out. If it was for Kaylee, there'd have been waffles listed, mini pancakes, little things that she liked. I would never feed her a bagel with eggs. She likes and bagel and eggs and cream cheese and that kind of stuff. So do I. We're like okay. the same little tiny person. You know, she's almost my size anyway. But it was all health food, was it not, on those lists? It was healthy stuff. So it was one thing Jose asked me three or four times about the menus. Got one minute. I know. What do you want to say to us? That I love you and that I miss you. And, you know, you guys stay as strong as possible. We are, Casey. Our whole life's turned upside down looking for this little girl. I know. Trust me, if I could be out there with you, I would be in a heartbeat. Trying to help take the strain off of you, trying to find her. That's all I want to do. But we're going to see her little face again. I pray to God every day that we do. Casey. Hello. We, again. Have, 40, we have 45 more minutes. They're really? being so gracious to give us the whole 45 minutes. They're being generous today. 
Well, I think that Casey, I think everybody wants an end to all of this. Oh, of course. Okay. Um, I have to ask. Oh, um, God. Did Kay Kaylee ever stay at Tony's? No. Are you sure? Positive. We hung out over there, but she had never stayed. No. Okay. Um, Tony admitted to Lee that there's drugs in his home. Could this be related to something like that? No, it's not. Okay. Just had to ask, sweetheart. No, his roommates smoke weed, but no. Okay. It's one of the big reasons. Make... One, Kaylee would never stay over there. Two, I wouldn't have Kaylee just stay at anybody's house. I know you wouldn't. That's why I, but I had to ask. I know. That's fine. Okay. Um, oh, besides Lee and Dad and I, has anybody else visited you? Um, yeah, Patrick Bourgeois. He was friends Who's with that? Mike Walker. Do you guys remember Mike Walker? Dad, my, yeah. Mike Walker, from you know. track. Well, why? How did he get? He came and saw me yesterday, about nine o'clock, nine ten in the morning. He was the first person that had actually come up to see me, as far as a phone call is concerned. He just wanted to basically tell me that I have friends on the outside. Mike passed on a message telling me that he hopes that I'm okay to keep my head up, um, and he said that a bunch of other people from high school all just wanted me to know that nine twenty-four. Uh huh. That you know that they were behind Patrick. me. Bourgeois. Um, the spelling, I'm going to butcher it terribly, but Lee said he's been trying to contact him like through emails and stuff, and I told him that's someone you know, that he can talk to because I know he's more than willing to help uh, in whatever way he can, and that's even what he told me. You know, He's going to try to write me and, and get other people to write me to try to keep my spirits up. So, I mean, I was very short with him, you know, not really knowing what to say. At right. that point, but I mean, I I definitely appreciated his visit, and that's even what I told Lee. I wanted to make sure that, that he knows that how much I appreciate him coming to see me. So that meant a lot, especially from someone that I I know I haven't talked to in the last four years since high school. Oh, is there a Tia Torres in our neighborhood? There's a Tia uh, Torres. A Tia Torres. Mm. Yeah. I don't know who that is. I don't know who a lot of the people are that live in our neighborhood outside of... Well, she... I forget who she told. But she told someone that um, I was hospitalized recently with a mental condition. <laughs> wow. I'm glad I'm, I'm not serious. on the outside. I'm oh, really you'd be, glad I'm not out there. You'd be surprised the crap that's coming, you know, no, that Mom, people see, think that it. I'm not surprised at the crap that's coming. That's another reason I don't want to hear any of this media bullshit. People want to have their face on the news, want to have their two seconds of fame. I never once wanted to be on TV or to have anything, period, let alone it be the worst catastrophic thing that could happen, not only to myself, but to our family. I mean, it doesn't surprise me what people are going to do or say to try well, to get Well, there's only a few people, Casey, because everybody that knows you... The oh, thing I know that they're that saying most that is don't. that you're you're the mom of the group. You're the one that always takes care of everybody else. That's how it's always been. It's the truth. I know. I know. Because you're a lot like me. I'm a lot like you. You're exactly right. And that's what people have said. They're like, wow, your mom's a real spitfire. People have been talking you up like crazy. And they're like, I wouldn't piss her off. No, you wouldn't. They would I'm respect you to... more than anyone else. All I'm trying to do is find Kaylee for both of us. Oh, I know. For all of us. And I'll do whatever it takes. I feel the exact same way. That's that's exactly what I've been saying. I don't care what I have to do. When I told them I would lie, I would steal, I would do whatever by any means to get her back. That's exactly how I feel. It's the truth. Casey, we have to find her before her third birthday. Mom, I that's know. That's coming up fast. I know. We have a couple weeks. I don't want to wait another minute. Let I alone don't want to wait another minute. I want, I want her to be found, whether I'm still stuck in here or not. I don't care. I think once she's found, then you can tell everybody what you know, and you'll be you'll be released. Don't you think? Potentially, I don't know. Yuri has it set in his mind that I've done something. 
Well, he thinks he thinks you guys did something to Kaylee. Hey, can you hold on for a second? Yeah, well, don't waste our time. I'm not going to. I'll be right back. Why would she do that? That's not right. Now they're taking her. Give us a whole slot, so. Just sit down. She doesn't come back. She's coming. What was that all about? What was that I'm all under about? protective custody. I'm not allowed to be out if there's other people around, if there's other people. Oh, so, so I have to go back to my cell. Yeah. Okay. So there's other people there. Well, right now, no. There's no other inmates okay. out. But if there's another okay. inmate that has to come in, I have to go back and I be gotcha. behind the I closed gotcha. door. So. I got gotcha. you. It's for my own okay. protection. Well, Casey. No, but that's, that's what I'm saying. Of it. I, I appreciate it in every way possible. Okay. Have you spoken with the psychologist or psychiatrist yet? Every single day. Okay. That's who are I was talking to when I was sitting at the table. Are you able to freely speak with her or is that recorded? No, it's not recorded. So do you feel like you can open up to her? No. Okay. Understood. We've talked about how I feel about things, but I'm not opening up to someone that I don't know. The only person that I have would be Jose. I mean, for obvious reasons, he's someone that I I know that I need to trust, that I've started to trust. And Are you able to be um, in the same room with him or do you have to do... Yeah, like, no, we have, we have open meetings. Okay. Um, most of the time he can get my cuffs off at least. So that way I'm, you know, I'm still chained at my feet most of the time. But no, it's in contact, him and I sitting at the same table... And it's just us, so. Well, that's good that you get that personal contact with the outside He fought bit. for that completely. I know. So, it's know. it's nice to have that contact. And I know that there's no way I can see you guys in person. That's something that I've asked time and time again. But I know that there isn't a single inmate that's allowed that right, um, that right whatsoever. Unless it's someone that's involved within, you know, the, the police department or okay. an attorney. Okay. Dad said he has a couple of things he wants to talk to you about, honey. Okay. Okay. Hang on. I know this might be a tough thing to answer. No, go ahead. But did you borrow something from anyone or remove it without their permission that Kaylee might be being held for? No. I, I know that's a tough question, sweetie, but I just need to ask you. It's it's not a tough question, Dad. I mean, Mom well, knows the stuff that I had taken from her. We discussed that, you know, on numerous occasions. And with Amy, you know, I mean, I I feel guilty about that. I feel extremely guilty. But I was under a time of desperation. 
Well, well, what do you mean? What do you mean by that? With time of desperation, I don't understand. Like I said to you, well, I said to mom, and Lee and I have spoken, and he advised me of something which is very smart. Um, the written contact will be better than anything that's going to be recorded, since we can't speak openly, freely, in person. Okay. okay. Well, um, I don't want to take time then going into anything else, and I just, I want you to know, is there something that I can do for you, sweetie? I mean, I want you out of here. I know I, mean, I want me out of here too as as quickly as possible, but at the same time I know that until we get the bond lowered as as much as possible, which is probably gonna take a lot, the police aren't gonna drop any charges. That's pretty evident. Well, can so, I share something with you? Yeah. The longer and longer this drags on the harder it's going to be. There's gonna be maybe additional things that might hit everyone and I don't wanna get into that with you, but it's it's getting very, very crucial that we've got to get you out of here. If I could get you out of here right now, I would. But yeah. I want Kaylee back, too. That, again, Kaylee is my concern. If I have to stay in here outside of that, if I can get out and then have to come back, you know, I'll deal with whatever I have to myself That in regard to me. Well, I, want I want to be you out. Know. I want you to know. I want to take your pain away from you. So, you know, you can tell me anything. I know that, Dad. I miss you, sweetie. I know that. I miss you, too. I wish I could have been a better dad and a better grandpa, you know? You've been a great dad, and you've been the best grandfather. Don't for a second think otherwise. Well, you know, you... You and Mom have been the best grandparents. Kaylee's been so lucky. Kaylee, okay, well. so lucky to have both of you. You, you. I can't even put into words how glad I am that she's had both of you. And that she still has both of you. You know, it goes without saying, you know, that our, our house is empty without both of you there. It's empty. <sighs> All the little things we took for granted, we miss them so, so much. That's exactly all, how I feel. All your little things and all her little things, it's just, it hurts. We're not, we're not there. Mom and I are just going through the motions, you know? <sighs> that night when I told Mom I couldn't be in the house, I knew that I couldn't be there and see that she wasn't there. I just wish you could have came to me sooner. <sighs> I wish I could have come to anyone sooner. I wish that, like I said, that none of this would have happened. We we can't go back of things we could have done or should have done. We just can just say we got to support each other from here on. No, I know that. I love you guys so much. I just want you to know that. I wish I could have said something or have hugged you. Or at least spent a moment with you the day of the hearing. I know, sweetie. We felt the same way. I wanted to reach over and hug you and tell you I love you. And to stay at a distance is, even like right here, this is a distance. It's hard to be away from you. You know, to hold your hand to hug you. It's hard. It's hard. But we're trying everything we can to get the little girl back. We're trying. I know you are, guys. I know. It's it's 24 hours a day, you know? I know. Mom wants if to I can't, again. I know. Hold Dad, on. if I can't be there myself, I would rather it be you guys than anyone else. Okay. I want you to know that. All right. Well, here's Mom. You know, um, I got threatened the other day by Detective Melich about they were going to send a squad car to visit Grandpa up regarding the date because it's the 15th that, you know, I, we tape recorded Grandpa. And I felt just a teeny bit of what you may be going through, Casey, about trying to protect someone that you love so much. So I want you to know, I don't know where you're coming from as far as I don't know the circumstances. But I know the mother that you are and the person that you are. And I know you're doing whatever you need to do to protect 
I hope you're just protecting Kaylee. Don't worry again about protecting your dad or me or Lee. You understand? Yes. We can we can handle anything. I believe that. Okay. Uh-huh. All right. Hold on. I'm going to have to walk away again for a second. Okay, I'll sweetie. be right back. All right, babe. Anytime an inmate comes to me, she has to leave. She has to be isolated. I'm not saying anything. Well, I want you to drive anyway. No, we can't. <laughs> hey, yeah. Oh, phone's all wet. Yeah. No, she already said she was eating. He wanted to know if you were eating. All right, I'll talk. I ate coleslaw that. today. Tell him I ate coleslaw. <laughs> well, pro- you probably eat a lot of things you never used to eat before um, because when you're hungry, you'll eat. I hated bologna. I've been eating bologna and cheese on occasion. Grits. I don't do grits at all. It's terrible. <laughs> well, you know what? You're going to eat what's in front of you. Um, No, not really. Still won't well, touch you... certain gravy outside of yours or grandma's. Well, you better eat a little something, honey, because you're getting I'm... really thin. You're getting, getting thinner. thinner. I've been I know, thin, but, but... No, but Casey, you're a lot thinner. Well, I'm only eating three meals a day. They're very small. That's, you know, what we're given, so I can't eat all day. I can't walk around and snack like I normally do. I'm not putting in probably 3,500 calories. Yeah. I'm drinking juice that has no real juice in it, no sugar. So it's good. tell me what's in that. <laughs> yeah. It's water, flavored water. No, it's juice. Is it? Ish. It tastes like juice. Oh, man. At least now I have more stuff to look forward to every day. The potential to get a chance to talk to you guys, to at least see you this much. Besides a shower every couple days and crappy food. Wow. And the, the inconsistent visit with Jose, but at least, you know, it's something. Yeah, he's supposed to be coming this afternoon. That's what I figured. He usually comes after 7.30, between 7.30 and 10. I think he's so. going to try to come around. Well, that's good. I'm at least going to get a shower after I'm done with you guys, so. <sighs> um, I know he was putting in an appeal for the bond. Do you know what will happen with that? Um, I don't think from him. No, he said it might not be till next Wednesday before it, the final on that. Okay. So it could be a while. Yeah, we never really got a full description of Zanny. I know she's got brown curly hair. About shoulder length. She wears it straight. It's curly. It's curly, but she also wears it straight. This is what I'm telling you. It's called a straightener, remember? She's the one that gave me my straightener. That's true. Okay. How tall is she? About 5'7"-ish. She's just like maybe an inch or two shorter than Dad. So 5'6", five, 5'7". Five, very thin, maybe a little bit more meat than me, about 140-ish. Um, fairly t- brown eyes. Um, no tattoos that I've ever seen that I know of. I've seen her in a bathing suit, so unless it's something beyond that. Um, Well, I would think if anybody around her knew her, they would have come forward by now. That's what I'm thinking. That's even what I told Jose. If it was anyone that especially has known me, that knows Kaylee, that at least knows of us. Did you? Did anybody ask you to describe her and they did a composite drawing of her? Not once. And when they went and interviewed that girl down in Kissimmee, they never showed me a picture of her. They well, never they searched... Said- Okay, now they told us that. Well, they told us that you couldn't pull her out of a lineup. They're full of shit. I had told them multiple times: find a sketch artist, show me pictures, show me something. I can point her out to you. 
Okay. Well, you make sure Jose does I've that told today. Jose this. I told him to pull in a sketch artist. Okay. I've told Jose that multiple times. I've given him and also Gabriel, his associate, the same information I've given you. It's the same information that I gave to the police. They never searched by her full name. They searched by Zanaida Fernandez or Zanaida Gonzalez, never by her full name. And it's Z-E-N. Z-E-N-A-I-D-A. I don't think she has a middle name. There was never a middle name on anything that I remember seeing. And I know she went by both last names. She always has since she was younger, since her mom remarried. So Flores Gonzalez, and you don't know what her stepdad is. Fernandez Gonzalez. But you don't know what Fernandez Gonzalez. I think her, her dad's first name is Victor, her stepdad, or that could be her real dad. But I remember her saying Victor. Victor and so Gloria Victor, were her parents. Victor and Gloria are her parents, but they're separated or divorced. They are as of now, yeah. That was her they're stepdad. Divorced. But I know she has a lot of money. That's where she got the car from. So Victor's her stepdad. That's her stepdad. So his last as name far wouldn't as be. Concerned. His last name wouldn't be Gonzalez then. I think it would actually be Fernandez because then, For, as far as I know, with Spanish last names, it's the father's first name, then the mother's last name. Yeah, but Victor is a stepdad, right? Mm -hmm. She has his last name and her mother's last name. Oh, he adopted her? He adopted her. He legally adopted her, yes. Where? I'm not sure. Okay. You don't know where he's living? No. And I thought you said Danny had a sister. Her sister's name is Samantha. She has the whitest name possible. They have different dads. And you don't know what her last name is? No, I do not. And you said she's a, Samantha's a student. She was a student at UCF, yes, but I, I can't you remember know her it. last name. Um, I know that she was within the last 12 months. Is she older or younger? She's older. By a couple years or? Mm, roughly a year, year and a half. Okay. All right, babe. Anything else you can think of? Um... Did Zan ever talk about taking Kaylee to the beach or doing anything? She told me that they went out to Coco a couple different times. With Kaylee? With Kaylee. Remember all the places that I was telling you about? Uh-huh. Yes. Those were all the places that I've been told that they've been. Okay. I told Lee that he needs to talk to you and get a okay. list of places. Those are, that's a good start. The ones over the last month? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, boat is actually the story out on a boat? It was a story I had been told, yes. Was I there? No. Okay. And you don't know who she could be with? No. Could, could Jeff ever look preppy looking? Yeah, that's how he always dressed. was very preppy. Do you think he would have ever worn like a horn rimmed glasses or something? Mm, to the best of my knowledge, he's never worn glasses. Okay. But he primarily would wear like reasonably tight jeans, fitted jeans, a polo shirt, something nice. He always dressed very nicely. Okay. And you don't you don't know where um Jeff's sister's last name or anything is. Her married name, no. I can't think of it offhand. Okay. Okay. Oh man. And what about Zanny's roommates? Um I haven't heard anything from either of them, but I've given everyone names. If you want to write down their names as well, I've given them to the police, which they okay. never did anything what was with. Okay. Raquel. Raquel is the first one. R-A-Q. 
E U E L L. Her last name is Farrell. F A R R E L L. Now, who worked for the ABC company distribution? Jennifer. Jennifer's your second roommate. Raquel supposedly had worked there for a short time herself. But you don't know when. I don't know when. Jennifer, I know, had worked there within it's the a, last year. It's the ABC distribution catalog, right? Yes. But you don't know Jennifer's last name. Her last name is Rosa. R O S A. R O S A. Okay. When's the last time you saw Raquel and Jennifer? Oh, wow. Um, easily a month and a half, two months ago, maybe. For both of them. Are they still roommates? I have no idea. Okay. But they're both from this area? They've at least lived in this area. I don't know where they are outside of this. Okay. Okay. You don't know where Raquel worked? No. I know that she was a student. She'd served at a couple different restaurants. Um, but you don't know said, what restaurant? She'd said a Friday's. I don't know which one but or local. when this was. It could have been local. It could have been somewhere else. I don't know. Okay. There was never anything specific. I know that they each came from families of decent amounts of money, mm -hmm. which is why they didn't have to have substantial jobs. Is there anything else Dad can think of? I don't know. Okay. Um. <laughs> I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. It's good to actually see you guys smile a little bit. <laughs> Dad was out sweating, working, doing flyers and stuff. I had to he stinks. And I we had showered a, in two days. <laughs> we got a flat tire on as we were getting off the expressway. My car tire went flat. Hey, guess what? That happened to me. Yeah. <laughs> so, did you know Trenton Trenton Duckett's father's been helping us? That's you what know. he told me. Um, Jose actually told me that he contacted you. Yeah, he's been helping us. That's what I've been told, which I guess it's good. He's maybe a very resourceful person. Did, tell, did he tell you how much the reward is for finding Kaylee? No. Can you imagine? Uh, um, I haven't heard anything of this, so it's I can over two hundred. I think it's $225,000. Jesus Christ. That's almost half That's my lot. Well, a lot of people want that little girl found. Good. The more people, the better. Everyone should want her back. Well, they do, Casey. Just want Good. you to know there's a Good. lot of people helping. It's, I only get one or two um, phone calls a day that, you know, that are not nice phone calls. But I yeah. get many, many, many phone calls and many people reaching out that Good. just believe in you. They believe Good. in us finding Kaylee. Okay. So keep your head up high. But if you think of anything that could help, don't be afraid. Oh, I won't hesitate to let you guys know. You can't be afraid, Casey, of anybody. You got to get that strength from me and your dad and your brother. You, I know you have it in you. Okay? You need to get that strength inside and do not feel like someone can hang anything over you or anything over us or threaten us because, well, you have said you're protecting this family. You don't need to protect this family. This family's been through a lot. I do. Yep. We love you very, very much. I know. I love yeah, you Yeah, Dad wants too. to say something, too. You know, I just had a little bit of analogy of our family. Uh-huh. Think of me as the thumb. I mean, <laughs> think, of, think of that. The next finger, you know, the index finger is your mom. You know, she likes to point just like Keely. <laughs> yeah, but it's the with the middle finger. Okay, the middle finger, I guess, is about probably. I'm looking at size in the family. 
you know, the next finger after that is going to be Lee, then it's going to be you, and then the, the final, that little pinky, that's Kaylee. So think of that. They think of your hand as saying, this is us. This is, this is the family that love each other, that cares, and needs to be together. Oh, and, 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 and we're missing two, two fingers. No. I'm still as, here. As silly as it sounds, as silly as it sounds. I know. We have you here. We know you're here. But it's not the same. I know it's not the same. She's like, I have you guys with me, but it's not the same. I'll tell you, the, doing everything that's happened so far, there was a lot of hard decisions to make. And we're trying to find a little girl. We're trying. I know you are. I mean, all of us have experienced a lot of different things. We've asked so many questions. We've went on emotions. and But if there's anything at all that you want to share, you know, you got to share it. You know, write it down. You know, I mean, I'm, I know Mr. Baez is working in your best interest, but, you know. My number you, one. Let, let me ask you, know, would you be interested in talking to, like, an FBI guy or something? Anyone that you guys want to bring in, I'll talk to. Okay. That's, that's true. That's great news. Okay. Here, Mom's again. Hold on a second. Yeah, I mean, is it just the local police you don't feel comfortable to? Oh, it's just... Or is it just the authority in general? It's those two specific. It's um, Adams and Mellick. Now, Happy Wells, the other you detective... Allen and Mellick. Uh-huh. Allen, yeah. Sorry, John Allen and Mellick. Um, okay. The other guy that came to the house, I don't know if you remember him very well. Um, he went by Happy. His last name is Wells. Happy Wells, you want to talk Happy to Wells. him? I would speak to him of, of any of the... You know, the detective. Would you speak with him with Jose or would you speak to him by himself? I would speak to him alone with Jose. It doesn't matter. He's, we had a lot of conversations when I sat up in the room that day. Um, I just sat in the lobby of the sheriff's department for okay. probably a good three, almost four hours. Okay. And Happy and I sat there and we conversed. He was very, very concerned with Kaylee, wanting to find Kaylee. That was his priority. Okay. He's someone that I feel very comfortable talking to. Okay, so if we can get that arranged today, if you'll talk to him. I would absolutely talk to him. He's okay. someone that I feel would go out of his way to help you guys. Now, is he a detective or a deputy? Um, oh, that's a good question. I know he works within... Was he at the house? Was he, he at was, the house? He was the other guy that came to the house with... Which one? Um, he was the bigger guy that wasn't wearing glasses that came to the house. When the two gentlemen came to pick me up um, Wednesday morning, he was oh, one of the remember. two guys that came to the house. Okay. See if Dad remembers him. But okay. They called him Happy. I know his last name as well, so I know that. Okay. Most definitely. Well, we could probably get that arranged because they're wanting to talk to you, Casey. Yeah. I don't want right. someone that's going to, to tell me that they know that I'm lying, that's going to belittle me, that won't listen to what I'm saying to them. I need someone that will take the information that I've, I'm giving them. Okay. All right, listen. Um, we're going to leave when it's at five minutes, so we can get we can get out and get out before the media knows, because yeah. they're going to try to get us out of that door. So I want you to know when that goes, we're going to be leaving quickly. Okay. But I'm going to work on trying to get Happy Wells for you today, if we that can. That would be great. Now, do you, I'm not sure if we should do it alone or if you should have your attorney present. That's up to you guys. That's I'm leaving that to your discretion. Okay, I'm fine. Well, I think way. you should have. I think you should have your representation. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Um, is there anything else we need? You need that you want us to do or say or look anything? What do you What do you need from us? I totally look locally. Look locally, especially. Are you sure? Check places that we're familiar with that, we'll see. Okay. that we know. I mean, it's not going to hurt to look. I don't know where you guys have posted things for Kaylee, been able to post pictures or things like that, but. Yeah. Oh, she said that guy. Dad wanted to know if it was a female officer, but this guy, this happy Wells, you've already connected with. Oh, most definitely. Okay. 
asked out if he remembers. He was one of the two guys that came to pick me up Wednesday morning. He was morning. one of the ones that picked her up Wednesday morning. Okay. We'll, we'll get that. Okay. Um, okay. God, just know how much I miss you guys. Oh, we know that. We know that. We'll get the quicker we get Kaylee, the quicker you'll get home too. But oh, Casey, we if we don't find her, you know, they're building. They're trying to build a case against you, honey. They've already. That's what they've been doing. I know. That's the other two detectives' main and goal think, is building a case. I know, and I. That, that's why I'm so frustrated. Because that's I why know I they're so not frustrated. That's, that's why I why don't want to speak to either of them because it's not going to do any good. It really isn't. Okay. Well, we'll and make it happen with this other person. Thank you. And like I said, if we can get, how about an outside source like FBI to talk to you? If you can get someone outside, that's fine. Bring in whoever by okay. any means. Okay. You and I are on the same page with that. We will do whatever okay. necessary. Okay. All right, honey. I believe that. I just want her back. I know you do. God. You have to keep things positive. Positive feelings, Casey. Oh, I know. I have been. I've been staying as positive as I can. But do you think after this long she'd still be local? There's a possibility. What's your gut telling you right now? My you gut's have telling same... me that she's okay. Okay, and your gut tells you that she's close or some she's she's hiding. She's, she's not far. I know in my heart she's not far. I can feel it. Okay. <sighs> okay. Oh, All right. God. Well, we'll see if we can't get a sketch artist in Happy, and maybe even FBI to come talk yeah. to you. Um, have you talked to Ryan? Has he gotten any leads on anything in Jacksonville? I haven't spoke with him for several days. I don't know if Lee has or not. I kind of haven't really reached out to too many people, um, except your immediate friends here. Well, um, Ryan, again, he's definitely one of those people that you should talk to. So. Well, I had before, but there wasn't really much to tell him. Yeah. So, but like Corey and Sean and Chris. Those guys, yeah. And all those guys. They feel connected with me to get to you yeah. because they, I think they see you and me and me and you. Oh, most definitely. Those are guys that I have a long history with that I've known well, for eight, nine years. They're doing everything they can, Casey, to help find Kaylee. And they know that you haven't, haven't done anything. Oh, I know. Those are my big brothers outside of Lee's friends. Those are they're just those are my other boys. They're just confused like we all are. And Jose said that you said everything would make sense once we found Kaylee. Well, yeah, once you have someone that you can talk to, that you can get a real explanation from, that it's known where she's been, it's going to have to make sense at that point. Once we get Kaylee, everything else will figure itself out. Mainly, I was meaning for myself, but even as far as where she's been, what's been going on with her. All right. Do you know what we're looking at as far as time? Yeah, we're getting close to the end. And you know, as soon as that happens, we're going to leave, okay? I know. All right, dear. Just tell Lee that I love him. I didn't get a chance he to knows that. Your brother has been a rock for all of us. He has done so much, Casey. You just don't, you don't know what this family has done pulled together for you. I've been hearing from some of the officers. They've told me. They've said that. The one coordinating most everything and hearing that. Uh, sorry, hearing that the other day, it just, I know. It's unconditional love, darling.
Your Honor, the next uh, exhibit is 44 minutes and five seconds. Okay, members of the jury, I give you the choice. You probably need a stretch break. Uh, but what we can do is uh, about uh, 428. We can start and finish that tape, which will run you past five, or we can go ahead and just pick that up tomorrow morning. So take it. Uh, about a seven minute stretch break and let me know what your choice is when you come back in, okay?